guys welcome back to my channel this is Sophia um, today I'm gonna talk about today I'm gonna show you um, today uh, hmm. today I'm going to um, honestly I don't know what I should do I am full of ideas I have a list how about um, roll a dice and decide Right? Sounds good? Okay, uh, video ideas. Hmm. Number one, finish Dark Angels Smash Master. Hmm. Number two, how to paint white. Number three, how to correct mistakes. Number four, how to paint checker pattern. Number five, how to touch up your old minis. Number six, how to edge highlight using color pencils. All right, what would it be? Okay, number four, how to paint checker pattern. Okay, here's what you need. Paints. I'm using Stormhost Silver and Abaddon Black. Your minis. This is just an orc arm with a choppa. And an automatic pencil. The 10 color stick is a graphite grinder for sharpening the tip of your pencils. And of course, your brush. Now, here I'm trying to design and lay out how big each square of the pattern should look like. Make sure the lines are parallel to the back of the choppa and evenly spaced. And then I roughly put on some Abaddon Black. You don't want a thick paint. You need to dilute the paint pretty good because you have to put a lot of layers and do a lot of touch-ups as you go. And then gradually use a less thin ratio of paint to water. But hey, you still have to dilute it. None of these details can be done in one stroke. You have to come back and fix what you just painted. Well, that's just how it is. I'm continuously fixing the square to make them more and more symmetrical. And as you can see, I'm going back and forth with black and silver. And do you guys remember my first basics video? As you can see, I turn my minis to find the right angles to paint. Oh, 
Also, I constantly turn my brush so the tip of the brush will stay sharp.
Okay, I'm happy with the checkered pattern. Yes, finally. Let's wrap this up with some work on the edge of the blade. Well, golden acrylics really are golden. I used to love them when I was in art school, and I still do. I just love their products. This paint is cerulean blue hue in high flow form. And this paint really goes well with any metallic silver paints, let me tell you. Also, they do make squeeze bottle just like this one, so you have more control of how much paint goes on the palette. Again, they are great, trust me. I'm slowly adding the blue and silver mixture and the bat and black to make the edge of the blade look realistic. As you can see, I still thin the paints quite a bit because they are still acrylic paints and you don't want a clumpy outcome. Now I'm happy with the shade of the blade. Let's add some rust to the chapa. Here I'm adding Dumbo Brown with a very stiff pig hair brush. This makes it look naturally uneven. I also use nihilic oxide to make the teal part of the rusty metal. The checker pattern chapa is finally done. Phew, that was a lot of work for this tiny chapa. I hope it does good on the table. But either way, it's gonna look great. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope the video was very helpful. Um, I'll see you guys in two weeks. Uh, if you like the video, please like and share and comments below. And don't forget to subscribe as well, okay? See you guys in two weeks. I already said that. Okay, bye.